everybody. I'm just a bird among the trees, and I am here with my quote friends. This is Peaches. This guy doesn't have a name, but she's very jealous. He's about to eat my elbow, but I'm not actually with them right now because uh, we're doing a video on them, but because we are actually getting something out of their pasture that we don't want them munching. There's an invasive species that has showed up on campus that we've got to figure out a way to organically control. So today we're going to be working on that and then we're going to be making paper out of it. What we're doing here is we are cutting the seed heads off of this stuff, which is Johnson grass. Johnson grass is an invasive species and can actually be rather toxic. It produces hydrogen cyanide when it wilts, and so we don't want it spreading into the hay field. Unfortunately, there's not too many uh, controls for Johnson grass that work because not only does it spread by seed, which is what we're taking off, but it also spreads by rhizome, which grow under the ground, which we're gonna attack next. Once we have the seeds, which are gonna be the genetic variation for the species in the area, all off, we'll dig up the rhizomes and we'll use the leaves to actually make paper. bunch of these guys just be chilling out. They're so pretty. There's a spider that feels uh you're in its web. I think I am. I'm sorry buddy. So what are we doing here? Uh, we're currently ripping out Johnson's grass roots because uh, Johnson's grass happens to be harmless. I mean harmful uh, when it wilts because it creates hydrogen cyanide, which could be uh, fatal if consumed by cows or other cattle that consume grass. And we're taking off its leaves so we can go make paper out of them. There's the problem. These are all left behind rhizomes. Look at those rhizomes. <laughs> This guy got a grasshopper. Oh, <laughs> Where? Oh man! That's another species. Not the garden spider? It is the garden spider. This is a black and yellow garden spider. The other ones we've been seeing are banded garden spiders. Spider got a grasshopper. See, I don't like that. Ugh. So today we're turning the grass leaves into pulp for making paper. We're doing this outside because it's nice outside. Okay. So all of that later. We're going to have that heating up while we are cut out. That's hot to go in my pocket. We 
are going to take these leaves and cut them up into one to a half inch pieces and just cut them in to this bucket like this. And you should be able to go through a bundle pretty quickly. And by the time we get through all of the fibers, that is boiling. <laughs> Hello. And the reason that we're cutting these fibers because these won't break down. However long we cut the fibers to be is the length of the fibers that are, are going to make up our paper. The chemical reaction that's going to occur is we're going to have, this is washing soda, the box exploded because wet. The washing soda is going to break down the fiber that's called lignin. Lignin is a web-like fiber that connects the cellulose fibers, the other kind of fibers, together. The cellulose fibers are the long, skinny fibers that make up the grass and make it strong. And it's what's going to make our paper strong. Goody, goody, gum, gum. Everybody grab a pair of scissors and grab bundles of fibers and we're all going to gather around. Like camp, we need marshmallows. I agree. I strongly agree. I don't Jesse. have marshmallows. Oh, there you go. Yes, dear. Look, there's a chair. Chair too. Oh. How high tech are we? Chairs. Chairs. How high tech we are? Chairs. We are chairs. No. We also have scissors and fire. We're good. Wow. Look at us go. We're basically aristocrats. <laughs> oh. I'm 
supposed to do that too. You can. Alright. Wow. Next thing is next, we are going to take this and we're going to beat it to a pulp. Drippy drippy. You can hold it with one hand and then get the other and like this. Doggy 
Claus, we can go over here. <laughs> One little batch of pulp turned into paper. I'm gonna let these dry out in the sun for a little bit. If the sun ever actually comes out. <laughs> All right, so this is one stack of our Johnson grass paper. And you can kind of get an idea for it's how it feels based on it's sound. Nice paper-like. It does have a pretty coarse texture. And especially if we look closely at it, we can see there's almost these straw-like pieces in it. Sort of adding interest to the paper and we can actually compare it I have some leftover from last year this is the mixed grass paper that we made from the grass we needed to get out of the hoop house when we were uh, getting that fixed up to be functional again so this is the stuff that I left out in the Sun and it almost looks like parchment now but even the coarser stuff, so this is the coarser stuff of the mixed grasses, which was mostly foxy tail. And we can look sort of the difference in those textures. And I can take my nail and I can scratch on this, like I got a little piece there, but I can scratch on this pretty darn good. If I left this out in the sun, like I did with this, I'd be able to write on that with a pencil. This, it ha because of these straw pieces, it would be difficult to write on with a pencil, but this would be great for using as an interesting canvas for painting on. Um, I'm also going to try, I'm not going to include it in this video, but I am going to try to leave some of these pieces out in the sun because initially when I left these out in the sun they actually turned quite bright yellow which I think would be very interesting whereas this has turned a very nice white that color contrast I think would be quite interesting so we got to work on controlling the Johnson grass on campus and we got to make some really cool paper using nothing but some basic chemistry and some hand tools. And we got to have a lot of fun in the process. And I will be seeing you in that next video. Bye!